Tonight is a taste of Cocoa Beach in Florida. We're making a pan-seared sea bass topped with a lemon caper wine sauce. We'll serve it with garlic mashed potatoes and sautéed spinach. It's going to be delicious, so stick around and we'll show you how we make it. My name is Mark Phillips. I've been in the food and beverage business for over 30 years. Throughout my career, I've had the opportunity to be in over 10,000 kitchens around the world. During the day, I work for Natalie a sweet, fresh juice company from Florida. Each week, I travel to a different city and get the opportunity to call on some of the most amazing chefs in the industry. The Kitchen of Chef Mark is a channel dedicated to showing you how you too can make fine dining restaurant quality food right in your own home. We'll travel together, we'll cook together, and we'll have some fun along the way. Welcome to the Kitchen of Chef Mark. Now let's get cooking. Tonight is a taste of Cocoa Beach in Florida. We're making sea bass, pan seared in sunflower oil and finished off in a 450 degree oven. Topped with a lemon caper wine sauce, we'll serve it with garlic mashed potatoes made with butter, cream cheese and heavy cream and we'll plate it with a fresh spinach sauteed in olive oil and lemon juice. And why are we making this dish tonight? Well, this week we were in sunny Cocoa Beach, surfing capital of Florida, home of the world famous Ron John Surf Shop. Ron John was founded in 1959 and it's the largest surf shop in the world. The 1960s television show, I Dream of Jeannie, took place in Cocoa Beach. And look at the dolphins. They're friendly and you see a lot of them when you're here. And when you want the best seafood in town, be sure to visit Florida's Fresh Grill. The line is always long, but it's worth the wait. Their sea bass was melt in your mouth delicious. And that's what brings us to our dish tonight. Sea bass with a lemon caper wine sauce, garlic mashed potatoes, and sauteed spinach. Our mise en place for tonight is one sea bass filet, three tablespoons of sunflower oil, salt and pepper, and a pinch of dry parsley flakes. For our mashed potatoes, you'll need two pounds of Yukon Gold potatoes, one half stick of butter, salt and pepper, two to four cloves of minced garlic or garlic puree, four ounces of cream cheese, and four ounces of heavy cream. For the spinach, you'll need one bag of fresh spinach, three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, two ounces of Natalie's lemon juice, the zest of one lemon, and salt and pepper. And for our lemon caper wine sauce, we'll need one cup of dry white wine, two to three ounces of Natalie's lemon juice, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one cup of chicken stock, salt and pepper, two chopped and minced shallots, two tablespoons of capers, four tablespoons of unsalted butter, and the zest of one lemon. We'll start with the potatoes first because they take the longest to prepare. Cut and dice the potatoes and put them into a bowl of cold water. The reason that we put them in the water is to keep them from turning brown while we cut the other potatoes. Try to cut the pieces so that they're the same size. This will ensure that all of the potatoes are cooked evenly and thoroughly. Drain the potatoes from the cold water and put them into a pot of salted boiling water for 30 minutes. While the potatoes are boiling, let's get our garlic butter ready. Put the butter into a small pot on low heat and whisk it until it is all melted. Then put the garlic puree into the pot and whisk it in too. To learn how to make garlic puree, click on the link in the description. Also, garlic can be very strong and overpowering, so if you really love the garlic flavor, then put both garlic pieces into the pot. But if you like a more mild garlic flavor, then only put in one piece. And if you don't like garlic at all in your potatoes, you can just leave the garlic out. It's totally optional. Drain the potatoes and then put them back on the stove with the heat on low. Then add in the garlic butter, the cream cheese, the heavy cream, the salt and pepper, and mash them using a hand masher. 
Now, if you like lumps in your potatoes, then the hand masher is best. If you use an electric mixer, the potatoes will be smoother without the lumps. Here is what the mashed potatoes will look like when you're done. Next, we'll prepare the sea bass. Pour some sunflower oil into a nonstick pan and turn the heat up to medium high. We're using sunflower oil instead of olive oil because sunflower oil has a higher smoke point and we'll be putting the sea bass under some high heat. Season the sea bass with salt and pepper. Make sure that you season it on all sides. Using a pair of tongs, put the sea bass into the hot skillet and cook it for about three and a half minutes. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Using a fish spatula, turn the sea bass over and cook it for an additional three and a half minutes. Then place the pan into the 450 degree oven for five minutes. Remove the pan from the oven and place the sea bass onto a sheet of aluminum foil and wrap it. Turn the oven down to 170 degrees, which is the optimum heat to keep food warm, and place the cooked sea bass back into the oven so that it will stay warm. Using a microplane zester, zest your lemon. This will be used in the spinach and in our sauce. To get the spinach ready, pour some extra virgin olive oil into the pan and turn the heat on to medium low. Add in half a bag of the spinach, the lemon juice and the zest, and bring it to a simmer. Salt and pepper to taste, give it a stir, cover the pan and put it in the oven to stay warm. Using the same pan that the sea bass was cooked in, remove the excess oil from the pan and add in the butter on medium heat. Add in your shallots, give it a quick stir, bring it to a simmer and cook for four minutes. Add in the capers, lemon juice, white wine, chicken stock, and the lemon zest and bring it up to a simmer. Let it reduce by half until it thickens, then remove it from the heat. The sauce is what really makes the dish stand out. And now it's time to plate our dish. Spinach, mashed potatoes, green beans for decoration, the sea bass, the lemon caper wine sauce, dried parsley, fresh parsley for garnish, balsamic dots, fresh thyme, shredded Parmesan cheese for the spinach, and diced radish for garnish. And there it is, a taste of Cocoa Beach. Sea bass, pan seared in sunflower oil, topped with a lemon caper wine sauce served with garlic mashed potatoes and sauteed spinach. It was delicious. Until next time, bon appetit.